In the near future, a natural disaster known as the big heat up causes the sun to become so hot that people must stay inside to avoid burning to death. Now everyone spends their days connected to a virtual reality and never sees each other in person. They also take a medicine known as lithium X to get vitamin D and avoid mental health problems because of the confinement. The only people still going out are clones, who have been modified to stand the heat and do essential things like doctor checkups. However Adam hates clones and how much people depend on technology, so he's the only regular human who still goes to work in person. He wears a hazmat suit to drive through the empty streets, and he's the only one at the office except for the cleaning lady. He does all his work wearing a VR set and empty desks and abandoned chairs. Because Adam never takes lithium X, he often has mood swings. One day, a clone doctor informs Adam that he's terminally ill. The only thing that can save him is a heart donor, but sudden or natural deaths rarely happen nowadays. Adam mentions he has an insurance package called Premium 3 which should give him a healthy clone of his heart, but clones are only produced after a person's death to take over their place. A special request could be made for the heart, but only if his wife signs too. They haven't been together for a while, but they never filed for divorce for the sake of the children. Adam doesn't react well to this news and the doctor notices his weak mental health, so she sends him to see a psychiatrist. Later at home, Adam talks to his wife through the VR set and begs to see her in person but she refuses, not changing her mind even when he admits he's dying. The next day Adam goes to work and has a huge argument with his co-workers. His company builds the VR headsets, which may become obsolete soon because of implant chips, but his co-workers ignore his concerns. After work, Adam goes to see the psychiatrist, but first a guard scans his iris, thumbprint, and full body for any signs of weapons. The psychiatrist is also a clone, so Adam admits he thinks clones aren't real people because they don't have the same emotions or fear of dying. He thinks clones are just another computer programmed with predetermined thoughts and actions. Talking to the psychiatrist about his feelings makes Adam remember the night he and his wife broke up. When he arrived home after work, he wanted to spend some time with his family, but everyone was busy in the virtual reality. The youngest kid had his headset on even while eating, the middle child was playing virtual tennis, the oldest one was playing video games, and his wife was sunbathing on a virtual beach. Needing some actual human comfort, Adam relieved himself by using a doll combined with naughty software. His wife Rena accidentally walked on him and freaked out, realizing this is what he always did when he locked the door. An argument ensued and Adam tried to explain that he didn't cheat because he didn't connect to another human, he just used software because he needed someone to be there for him. However Rena was still very hurt, pointing out she only spent so much time in the VR to be with her children, and she ended their relationship. Telling the kids that dad would live somewhere else was very hard to explain because they weren't used to the idea of anyone leaving the house. Back to the present, Adam wakes up after having bad dreams about his breakup and proceeds to groom himself with laser tools. He decides to visit his family and Rena refuses to see him because he's supposed to have a restraining order, but she comes out when he threatens to break down the door. Rena doesn't care if he dies and wants to let Premium 3 replace him with a clone so the family can still be provided for, but Adam points out that his company is close to bankruptcy because of the chip. This means he may lose his insurance and his job, so there won't be a clone to take care of his family after his death. He wants to request a heart and try to save the company to give his family a future, but Rena still refuses and tells Adam to take Lithium X so his mind will be healthy to think of a plan. The next day, Adam makes some calls looking for a mysterious man called Donald Stein, mentioning the chip technology. Afterward he connects to the virtual world to chat with Maria, the software girlfriend he uses with the doll. He knows she's programmed to tell him nice things, but she still makes him feel better. Suddenly someone breaks into his house and ruins the moment, it's Donald, who is pointing a gun at Adam. He wants to know why Adam knows about him and the chip, so Adam explains that he thinks Donald is the creator of chip technology and wants him to help him save his company. Then Adam shares the story about the insurance contract. The insurance clerk had told them about an insurance package called Premium 3 which had been developed by an engineer called Donald Stein. The clerk also explained that the insurance would create a clone in the case of death, but the widow or widower could make adjustments to get rid of any flaws. Adam hated the idea because he loved his wife just the way she was, and he was hurt when he noticed she loved it. An argument ensued and Rena swore that she only wanted Adam to be the best he could be. Back in the present, Adam explains that he guessed Donald created the chips because he was the guy who invented the cloning process, and only something like the chip could create clones that aren't affected by the sun. He also admits that he found Donald through his dental records. After making sure Adam isn't a spy from his former company, Donald accepts a drink and explains he developed human cloning not because he liked the idea, but because his company wanted a solution to fight the big heat up. Adam also drinks and confesses he hates the idea of changing something about him because he wants to be loved as he is. Donald relates to that feeling, saying that he only found true love in his virtual girlfriend and that's why his company fired him. This makes Adam tell Donald the story of his breakup, which prompts Donald to point out that since Adam never feels pain in his body, his illness isn't physiological, but rather emotional because he doesn't take lithium X. Since Adam obviously yearns for love, Donald offers to create a clone that will match Maria, and Adam agrees. After Donald leaves, Adam realizes he forgot the gun, 
So he puts it away in a drawer with all his medicine. He drinks and fails to play the guitar as he keeps thinking about Maria. The next morning, Adam meets with his mother in the virtual reality and freaks out because she's gotten a new avatar that looks young and attractive. He's so distracted by this that he doesn't notice the sun getting through his window and burning his arm until it's too late. After rushing to close the curtains, he applies some cream on the burn and then takes a nap, deciding not to go to work because he doesn't feel well. Later he's woken up by a call from his co-worker, but Adam ignores his concern and quickly hangs up as he flips his co-worker off. Then he decides to drink as he keeps staring at the gun and the medicine. In the evening, Rena comes to see him with big news, she can unlock Premium 3 without Adam dying. The process is called virtual assassination, which entails a hacker creating the necessary paperwork to trick the system into thinking Adam is dead. Adam's clone would arrive in two days and take over the company job while Adam will get a new identity to do whatever he wants without having to provide for a family anymore. Rena is clearly excited about the idea of replacing him so an argument ensues, and after they yell at each other a lot, Adam realizes how much his wife hates him and his kids need a proper father, so he surrenders to her plan. As she kisses him to thank him, Rena reveals she already started the process and that his company thinks he overdosed. Adam freaks out because he wanted to say goodbye to the children, but Rena just gives him his new identity and login credentials and leaves. At that moment Adam realizes that he can't see Maria anymore so he rushes after Rena to insult her. In the street, Rena turns around to insult him back and suddenly a van hits her, killing her instantly. Soon the cops and paramedics arrive, and Adam's thumbprint tells the cop that he's alive after all. The officer points out that the insurance will send a better Rena soon, but Adam doesn't appreciate the joke and cries thinking of his kids. Afterward, Adam tries to log into his account, but his password has already changed. Then he forces himself to puke to get the alcohol out of his system. Suddenly a woman appears at the door, it's Maria, who looks just like the virtual one and kisses Adam. He can't believe what he's seeing because she's absolutely perfect, however Maria wants to take it slow. Her body is tired because Donald put her through many tests to check her body was working fine, and they even did the dirty to make sure those body parts were working too. Adam gets really jealous and watches Maria take a shower, getting even more frustrated because she's flirting. For a second, Adama hallucinates Rena's face on Maria's body, so he leaves before it could get worse. Next Adam looks through Maria's bag, finding protection and a small clear chip. Getting more frustrated, Adam tries to distract himself by playing the guitar, but he sucks. After Maria finishes her shower, she sees the doll she used to be, finding it ugly. Adam confronts her about the chip and she explains it's called Eternal One, which is a device that downloads the brain of a dying person to transfer it to the virtual world. The fact that a chip could contain an entire person freaks Adam out but Maria becomes philosophical, wondering what truly takes to be human. Then Maria announces she's leaving because the love she felt for Adam had been programmed, so she wants to go out there and experience the real thing. Adam begs her to stay, but Maria kisses him goodbye and leaves. Alone and depressed, Adam starts dancing with the doll to look for minimal comfort. However his mind keeps showing him images of Maria choosing Donald over him, and Adam becomes so angry that he grabs a knife to stab the doll. Feeling like he's losing himself, Adam goes to a corner to wallow in his horrible feelings. He has a nightmare in which he asks the doctor if clones can truly feel pain, so the doctor self inflects to prove she bleeds as well. Suddenly he's woken up by someone knocking, so he grabs Donald's gun and opens the door only to discover his clone. Rena clearly chose some changes, since clone Adam looks and behaves more relaxed and cool. Adam tells him about Rena's death but the clone doesn't care because he likes the idea of a clone replacing her too, he also swears he can't hurt Adam because clones can't be violent unless it's in self-defense. The clone judges the state of Adam's home and grabs the guitar to start playing perfectly, which leaves Adam in shock. It means Rena made him creative like he always wanted to be, and the clone points out Rena had been a great woman, Adam had just been a whiner and hard to please. Curious about what else may have changed, Adam makes the clone take his clothes off. It seems they look exactly the same except the clone is longer down there. The clone asks about Rena's death and Adam finally loses it, yelling and blaming Donald for his troubles. Adam wants to find Donald and kill him, so to calm him down, the clone starts reciting to be or not to be because it was the favorite high school play they starred in. The memory slowly comes back and Adam recites it as well, crying as he realizes the clone truly is the perfect version of him. Clone Adam insists he should accept his new identity, but Adam has a breakdown and runs to his VR room. The clone follows him as he explains Earth will soon be empty and everyone's consciousness will be transferred to the virtual world. This makes Adam realize he can't even be himself in the virtual world if the clone is alive, so he aims the gun at him. The clone isn't nervous and reminds Adam that he's dying, then he makes him take the medicine to clear his head. Adam puts down the gun and almost takes the medicine, but he realizes the clone is manipulating him so he raises the gun again. This finally triggers the clone's self-defense mechanism and a fight ensues. Both men wrestle to gain control of the gun and after lots of struggle, the gun falls and the impact fires it, causing it to shoot one of the atoms. If it was the clone or the real Adam who died it's up to interpretation. Afterward, Adam buries the other body before going home to start over. After retrieving a family picture and putting away the medicine, 
He looks at both sets of clothes and chooses the classic suit. At that moment, Rena's clone arrives and the couple instantly reconnects with a kiss. Rena is surprised by how passionate he is, and Adam notices her chest is bigger. Then the couple starts planning their future together, even considering replacing their kid with clones. Suddenly they hear a chip activating and playing Adam's guitar song. 